In today's video, I will be unboxing this box of baseball cards that I got from a local antique shop. I spent $40 on it. Hopefully there's some really good stuff in here. Obviously, I could see off the bat that there was the Hank Aaron, the Joey Votto, the Mattingly, the King Griffey. Hopefully there's a lot more. Um, and as well, of course, can't forget the GOAT, Nolan Ryan. Hopefully I'll be able to make a good profit on it. First things first, I did want to mention the two award winners for this uh, past week's contest. First, the John Morant card. Drum roll, please. Goes to Drake Phillips. Congratulations, Drake. And the Zion Williamson goes to Mike Taylor. Congratulations to both of you. I want to show my appreciation by continuing the giveaways on every sports cards video I do on this channel. I'm going to be doing a total of five giveaways on each sports card video from the box that I'm opening. How you can win, the first two cards will be randomly selected out of this box. All you have to do is comment and like this video and subscribe to my channel. What you need to comment is your favorite card that was unboxed in this box. It doesn't have to be one of the two that I give away. It can be any card that will automatically enter you into the contest. The other three will be hand selected at random throughout the video. I typically will pick very nice cards. It may not be a Mickey Mantle rookie card if I were to ever pull that. The cards that I will be selecting should be valuable cards, all five of them, but the three cards that are remaining in the giveaway in each video will be randomly placed throughout the video. Whenever I pull it and I feel compelled to give that card away, that's whenever um, you need to be the first one to comment that specific card. And if you are the first person to comment that specific card, you will be the winner and I will send it to you with uh, a plain white envelope. Um, I don't want you to have to pay for shipping. I don't wanna spend a ton on shipping since I'm already giving away the cards. So I feel like that should be the easiest and best way to get them to you. All right, enough about the giveaways. Let's get into some cards. The first card, I mean, how can I not give away this beautiful Hank Aaron? The all-time total base leader, Hank Aaron. Oh, and actually, I really like what I'm seeing already. So this is the first card I'll be giving away in this video. It looks really good. It's a little bit off-centered, but overall, it's in really good shape considering it's from 1973. So what you got to do is comment your favorite card, whether it be this one or any other card in the video. Good luck to all the dinner. All right, which bundle should I start with? I'm going to leave that Rod Carew one alone because I kind of feel like there should be something really good in there. If if it's consistent at all, which it may not, and I'm kind of assuming it actually may not be that consistent throughout the box because here's some 1973 cards over here too. So this first one, very nice. Joey Votto rookie card, great card, sells really nice. Obviously one of the best to, to play, especially in modern history. And you know what? This will be the first of the three that I will be giving away. So the first person to comment Joey Votto rookie card in the comment section below will be the winner of this card. And you can absolutely enter multiple times, but in each video, you can only win up to one card. And so Horace Clark, Ron Bloomberg, Burt Levin, uh, Rourke Harrison, Dave Conception, Con Concepcion, I think that's how you pronounce it, something like that. Pedro, all right, Manny Mata. Oscar Brown, Grant Jackson, Eddie Watt, or Williams. So nobody too crazy yet. Oh, nice Tommy Davis card. But I do like this 1973-1974 tops um, cards. Nice Matty Alou. It's a nice card right there. Sanchez. But no, what I was saying is I really do like this era of cards. Don Hood. Um, here's some Home Run Heroes cards. May check later to see if I have a full set there. I don't think that was enough, but we'll see. JT Snow, I used to love JT Snow. Um, the nice part about those 1973, 1974 cards, they really resell well, especially the ones that are in good condition. And if you have one that is in perfect condition to go send off to PSA, it's probably worth it, especially with it being in the era where the centering is obviously so hit and miss. So. If, if you have one that's perfectly centered or close to perfectly centered and in good shape, you're probably in good shape to send that off to PSA. Nice King Griffey. Unfortunately, it's not the rant version. There's a parallel. I think it's purple, I believe, that has a rant parallel. That's really nice. They go for a lot of money. This one, I think, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it goes for about three or four bucks um, on eBay. That's a cool Nolan Ryan superpowers card. Oh, cool. Unleashed, Carlos Beltran. Unleashed, Adrian Beltran. Oh, that's a nice. Mark McGuire, Skybox Thunder. 
what is that? The Batters.com. Nolan Ryan, Carlton, Gaylord Perry, 1983 highlights. Oh, that one's not in great shape, but that's a cool card. Nolan knows bow. I like that. Barry Zito. I mean, talk about a hook. That was the craziest 12-6. It was unbelievable. That had so much movement. There's Bobby Bonilla, Barry Bonds, Record Breaker, George Brett, Andre Dawson, Carl Papano. Oh, nice little Clay Buckholtz rookie card. Ricky Henderson, a couple Doc Goodens, more than a couple. Back to 1973 cards, Mike Epstein, Bill Singer, Rudy May, Dave Sells, Dick Lang, Rick Chan, Rick Clark, Clyde Wright, Mickey Rivers, Tom McGraw, Leroy Stanton. Oh, nice. That is a nice card. You know what? This will be the second card of the two that anyone can win in this video. So as long as you comment your favorite card in the entire video and make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel, you will be entered to win this card. And let me get the other one real quick. So you will be able to win either one of these two cards. So good luck and hopefully you get picked. All right, back to the cards. Sandy Alomar, I oh, like that. That's a cool card. Big fan, Tom McGraw. Oh, nice. Another Joe Morgan. It's a good looking card. That one does have a little stain on it. I'll give away the, the first one that doesn't have that stain on it. Nice Carl Yastrzemski, Lou Pinella, Dusty Baker, Tony Oliva, Raleigh Fingers. Wow. There may be something special in this box. I mean, look at all those all-time greats. But nobody, well, Carl Yastrzemski, but obviously this was later in his career, and Joe Morgan and Hank Aaron, but there hasn't been any crazy, crazy, crazy valuable cards yet. But, I mean, that card's in pretty good shape. So if we can get some of these older cards that are in really good shape, I'll be able to send these off to either PSA or SGC. Those are typically the two that I would use and get them graded, and they should increase their value like crazy if they grade well. I don't know if that one's quite quite good enough to get graded. We'll see. That top left corner has me a little worried. All right, so one of the main reasons I really like this box was because obviously the cards that I can see were obviously good cards, but the Hank Aaron was the, the main reason I ended up spending the money on it. Also, I like that basically everyone I could see that was in the, I like that card. It's a really cool card right there. Fleer 91, Don Mattingly. Um, everyone I could see in the actual box was, there's Ted Williams. I like those baseball heroes cards. Um, but everyone I could see in the box that was visible um, before buying it was all stars for the most part, and so I really liked that. I felt like it gave me a better chance of actually hitting something worthwhile. On top of that, I felt like at the very least I should be able to get my money back, if not profit off of it quite a bit. Um, here's more of those 1973 cards. Hot Commodities, Chase Utley, Sotoguchi, Stephen Drew, Sego, some Reigns, not seeing the cards over here. Andre Dawson. Let's go ahead and finish off this pile of cards. It's Nolan Ryan. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I love that card. It's just a nice, clean design. Really like that. I don't know. These are kind of old. They feel like they've been together. Oh, that's a cool card. The Arms Race. I've never seen that one before. It's a really nice looking Nolan Ryan card. Um, I've not seen some of these cards before. A lot of these are just the, oh, there's a 5,000 K's Dunruss 90 card. A lot of these are just the generic, it's a nice card I haven't seen before. Um, little silver signature, collector's choice, 
It's a nice card. Those usually add a little bit of value to those cards. No hit king leaf. I was going to say a lot of these are just the common cards, but some of those are some inserts. Really like that card. Him throwing the football in the upper deck. King Griffey Jr. rookie season. They were from 1989. Another 5,000K Studio Stadium Club. Mickey Mantle. Joe Carter. There's nice. Oh, well, I say it's nice. And then I see the top. That top is destroyed on that Mark, Mark McGuire. Oh, nice. Yogi Berra. Remember, he was the manager for the New York Mets in 1974. Oh, that's a Steve Carlton. I was going to say that looks nice, but then I see that corner. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to tell whenever I'm basically looking at him through the camera as well. And so it's sometimes hard to see, but that's a really nice Frank Robinson, 1974. Remember, he's the DH primarily for the California Angels. Nice Lou Pinilla. Phil. Brew. Shrimsky again. Oh, nice. That's a great looking card. Great looking Carlton Fisk. All-star rookie. Should be worth something. And it looks like we've got two back to back. That is a big score there. I really like that. One of those may get sent off to go get graded, except for that one won't. That has some sort of a coffee spill on it, it looks like. There's Thurman Munson. Nice 1973 Thurman Munson. I watched the Reggie Jackson documentary. I think it was on Amazon Prime. Don't quote me on that, but it was really good. But I didn't realize truly how good Thurman Munson was back then. Um, he was unbelievable. He was literally <laughs> the best player in the league until Reggie Jackson came to, to New York. Um, nice Hank Aaron, Golden Greats, Topps Guard, Bo Jackson, Albert Bell, Craig Biggio. Oh, that's a cool Barry Bonds. I like that card. Oh, what is this? Nice. I don't know what this is. Gold card, Alex Rodriguez. Laser line, huh? Maybe that is worth something. I don't know. We'll have to check. Nonetheless, pretty sweet card. But what I was saying is that um, I didn't realize how good Thurman Munson was until I watched that, and he was unbelievable. I mean, very, very impressive, especially for a catcher. It is a hard job whenever you're so focused in the game on catching and you're still playing at an elite level at the plate as well, is behind the plate. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I obviously knew he was an all-star. knew he was a, one of the greatest players in that at that time, but I didn't realize he was literally the MVP of the league, the AL, the year before Reggie Jackson got there. I don't think I missed anything. Right through there, did I? No. Sorry, I was too... Distracted in what I was saying. Schuler, Zoa, Ron Reed, Oscar Brown, Daryl Evans, Marty Perez, Sammy Jackson, Kuzman, Oates, Willie Horton, Willie Horton, Mercer, Sparky Lyle. Pretty good card there. Fred Stanley. The nice part about these 1973 1974 cards is on reselling especially you can sell them in bulk so you can sell them at um here let me start with these but you can sell them at bulk and make pretty good money for selling lots of maybe 50 to 100 in good shape um even if they aren't the stars of those years um or hall of famers people are still trying to finish off um sets from those years and they're looking for solid quality cards. So typically you can still fetch a good amount of money. And whenever I'm done with the video, I will um, calculate what what I, I will make from this um, lot. Because I typically have pretty standard pricing on all of this stuff. And so I, I pretty much know what I should anticipate making on all of this. Jim Abbott, unbelievable. Three more unleashed. I'll be. Good luck. Sure. Zero. Push him up. Six. 
He was so dirty. He had to have been the best athletes to wear glasses, maybe of all time. Comment below if you can think of a better player in any sport to wear actual glasses while playing their sport. Let me know. Oh, nice. Another one of these. That's a cool Hideki Matsui. What was that called? Laser, laser line, gold card. Nice. And then, oh, cool. Collector books, Nolan Ryan. You know what? I don't know how much this is, and I may regret this. I may not. But this will be the second card given away that the first commenter to comment Hideki Matsui laser line in the comment section below will win this card. Remember, you can only win one card per video. All right, two more stacks left. Pinson, Hood. Oh, nice. Lou Gehrig, all time Grand Slam leader. 23 Grand Slams. That's unbelievable. I did not know that. Gehrig, he was the man. What actually is that on the side? Not good. Is it Ramirez? Top Prospect. Top Prospect. Nettles. So minor. Nettles again. Oh, nice. Pete Rose. I've not seen him yet today. It's a good card. Very, very resellable. Pete Rose card. George Foster. Nice couple George Fosters. Also, very nice resellable cards. Uh-oh. We may be getting to the good stuff now. Don Baylor. Robinson. Nice. Nolan Ryan. Phil Necro. Very, very nice card. About as well-centered as it could be. I may be sending that one off to get graded. I did want to mention that I am not going to be doing the effects for the rest of the video on each card. I will add that up into the recap, but as you will be able to tell, there are way too many good cards that are valuable and resellable for me to do that on each and every card here to finish the video. All-time record holders. It's another very nice card. Walter Johnson, Nolan Ryan, that one also maybe sent off. Terry Crowley, and then Jim Palmer. All really good cards. We are getting very, very good stuff coming towards the end of this video. Game four, World Series. Reggie Jackson, nice. Oh, nice. Look at that, Reggie. It's a sharp looking Reggie Jackson. Oh, another one. I've not seen that card very much. That is a very, very nice Reggie Jackson. Oh, Willie Mays. Nice. I have struck gold with this box. Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson, Cy Young, Walter Johnson. Well, with this hand, I have more than paid for this box. That is some big wins right there. The rest is just cherry on top. Some 94... 94, excuse me, 74 rookies. Another Willie Mays, game two, World Series. World Series, game five. AL Playoffs, I love that card. That's a cool looking card. Pete Rose, Bobby Mercer. There's another Hank Aaron. Wow. This, oh, it just keeps trying to get that light off it. The gifts just keep coming. That is awesome. Oh, beautiful Rod Carew. Kuzman, Rookie, Thurman Munson again, Harmon Killebrew, Tom Seaver. Oh, wow. Look at that. And look what's behind them. Wow. There is absolute gold in here. Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, John Bench again, Hank Aaron, and another. Wow. It's almost a full set. And then the gold Babe Ruth is just hanging out there. It's unbelievable. Mike Mussina. Uh-oh. Look. I can tell there's going to be a little bit of a lull 
in the cards <laughs> coming after after just hit after hit i need to actually place these to the side i don't need to be messing around with these red bogs red bogs red bogs oh chipper nice star rookie you know what no we'll wait i was gonna do that for the fifth and final but we'll wait nice babe roof gold card if i remember correctly the card's actually worth a little bit of money not anything crazy but maybe 15 bucks if i remember correctly nice hank aaron hank aaron another one that one does have a little crease in it but still whenever it's of the goat nice what a card if that was in a little better condition you can get a lot of money for that minus the crease george foster oh and a beautiful joe morgan definitely off-centered and has a little crease but great card right there the last last stack let's see what we got nice rod crew we'll set that off big pal Brooke robinson don baylor wow kibaneris santo and robinson dusty baker again reggie jackson reggie jackson billy stargell Seaver and palmer gaylord perry yastrzemski oh nice that's actually in better condition than the other Good card, Kirby Puckett. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Boom, there's that purple parallel that I was talking about with the Rants. Nice. I don't know, this is that parallel though? It is very much one of its names. I can see that about Justin Thompson, but to be honest, but as nice to see all the things I'm doing here, is that about Justin Thompson? Somebody good, it's all finger. Anybody, Dimitri Young, nice card. Anybody, I'm almost not agree with Mike Bradley, that purple with the light, Ron Hennessy, Bob Walker, very hard to read these. Tina Martinez, hold on. Jim Perry, George Foster, Gaylord Perry, Nolan Ryan, Stephen, uh, Steve Carlton, Tom Seaver, Nolan. There's some more. Hi, right. Boa. Huh. Oh, Tim McGraw's dad, Tug McGraw. Oh, nice, Frank Robinson. Steve Barber. Some more 74 rookies, but yeah, none of the. Oh, there's Griffey. King Griffey, 1974 rookie. Yeah, and then the, here's the last little batch of cards. For Steve Carlton. Who's it? I'm not seeing the Mike Schmidt. It'd be nice to hit that with this last little batch, but I'm not complaining with what I've gotten so far. Manny Ramirez. You know what? And I forgot. Forgive me. But I have not done my giveaway yet. What is that? That is pretty sweet. I don't know if anyone would even want those. But there's not much left. Hopefully there's something else I can that I feel like y'all would enjoy to win at the end of this video. If not, I gotta search for something. So y'all got something good to, to win. Bobby Valentine. Eh, y'all can do better than that, huh? Yeah. Let me see. Alright. And since there wasn't anything in that last little bundle that I felt was good enough to give away, how about this 1973 Brooks Robinson? It's in really good condition. It is a little bit off-centered, but still in really good shape. So, all you need to do is comment below. Brooks Robinson, 1973 tops. Here are the five cards I'm giving away in this video. Y'all know what to do. Are you kidding me? Look at all these hits for $40. I mean, unbelievable. I couldn't even count up how many Hall of Fame 1973, 1974 players I had. But, I mean, look at them all out there. There's even more that I didn't even lay out here. It was truly unbelievable. I don't know how much I'm going to make back. I will have everything calculated and edited in here at the end of the video. But, all that being said, comment below what you think about this sports card haul Honestly, I'm very glad um, that I made this purchase. It was well worth it. Let me know what you would have paid for it if you thought $40 was a steal or if it was too much. Please let me know in the comments below. Also, here are the five cards we will be giving away. I'm not going to really spread them out because I am holding the camera, but you get the idea. And then the Hank Aaron, of course. Um, you know what to do at, by this point. So do it. Hopefully you'll win. Until next time, we'll see ya. Peace.